I ended the previous talk by quickly modeling a herringbone gear, or a double symmetrical helical gear. Today I propose to model the planets and suns of a differential using helical gears. I thus get the parametric project of the helical gear that I will modify. I change the sketches of the pinion by reducing the center hole size and doubling the path of the helical gearing. I double the length of the pinion cylinder to match the new length of the gearing. And I also double the twist angle of the sweep feature. The modified pinion is the base of the differential planets. I am now making additional modifications in accordance with mechanical needs in case one would like to build this differential. It will be more aesthetic as well. I start by lengthening the pinion from each of both sides using the offset feature. I carry out a chamfer on each end of a tooth which I repeat for all teeth using the circular pattern feature. Sharp edges could break or crumble under mechanical stress and should be avoided. The planet is finished. It is now the turn of the helical gear wheel to be modified to make it a differential sun. Here, no sketch change is necessary. I just lengthen the wheel a small amount by also using the offset feature. Note that the lengthening is only done on one side, on the other side it is a smaller shortening. Then I perform a chamfer on each end of a tooth of the sun by proceeding as for the planet. A circular pattern on the chamfer feature ends the sun. The modeling of the basic gears of our differential is done. I build a plane that will serve later as a plane of symmetry for the duplication of the Sun and its planets. I add a parameter that contains the number of planets assigned to each Sun. I choose to set 6 for our differential. Planet gears have 6 teeth. Sun gear has 18 teeth. It is important to choose the correct tooth profile shift coefficients. Don't worry about the error that appears in the timeline, it will disappear once I have input the correct values. I use the circular pattern feature to build the six planets, whose axis is the axis of the sun. Here we are with half of the gear set needed for the differential. I now duplicate the gear set using the mirror feature and the plane of symmetry that we have constructed earlier. I interleave the planets between them making a rotation. I think the result is a bit too wide. As the modeling is fully parametric, I will simply increase the helix angle of the gears from 15 degrees to 30 degrees. It's much more elegant like this. Here we are with a differential consisting of two suns and 12 planets. A section analysis allows us to observe that the assembly meshes perfectly. I use and abuse the software abilities by changing the parameters. 15 teeth for sun gears. 5 planets per sun. And appropriate values for the tooth profile shift coefficients that I let you check by yourself. 
The warning message indicates that the software did not find one of the selected planets during the rotation that followed the gear mirror copy. And for good reason, we had six and now only five planets, which is not a problem for our modeling. And here we are again with a second example of a differential embedding two suns and ten planets. As for the first one, the meshing is perfect. I change the parameters one last time. Four planets per sun. Seven teeth for each planet. Twelve teeth for each sun. And adjusted values for the gear profile shift coefficients, I know you're good enough to confirm them. The presentation is coming to an end. It ends with this third differential embedding two suns and eight planets. As for the other two, the meshing is perfect. This presentation consisted in modeling a helical gear system as found in some differentials. I used the parametric capabilities of Fusion 360 software, once again. Thank you for your attention.